Today we'll answer the question, how hot does the Raspberry Pi 3 really run? So with the recent release of the Raspberry Pi 3, there's been a lot of chatter online on how hot it runs, different benchmarking, and I thought we'd take a look here. The big concern lately has been that it just runs too hot under load. Lots of posts online about this, and a lot of thermal imaging pictures for, with these uh, FLIR backpacks for cell phones. I decided we'd take a fresh install of Noobs, install the Stress program, and we'll use my FLIR i7 thermal camera to check this out. I set up the i7 to compensate for the emissivity of the chip itself as well as the reflected apparent temperature. This should ensure accurate readings. I have a VNC connection as well as a PuTTY connection to the Pi so you can monitor the temperatures in both windows. With the stress program fired up, I was able to monitor the temperature and the speed of the Pi throughout the test. The temperature spikes up quite quickly, and you'll notice when it hits the ADC mark, it starts to throttle the speed. The temperature outside on the chip is significantly higher, as you can see. Important to remember, this is under full load. This is wide open. There won't be that many situations where this will happen in real life for extended periods. Overall, the Pi does run very, very hot, but it seems to cope with it extremely well. This is a really brutal stress test. At the end of it all, I don't think a person should be concerned. It won't be that often that the Pi is run in this manner. It seems to cope with it just fine. I'm happy with mine. I see no detriment to it whatsoever. I probably will add a heatsink to it and try it again. And I'll maybe do some benchmarking at just normal load levels. This is extreme. I'm Eric for the Make Me Lab. I'll see you next week.